In this video, we will introduce a new symbol that is very useful in analyzing electrical circuits and in taking measurements of electrical quantities in actual circuits. This symbol is used to represent a reference point in a circuit. It is called ground or common, and in this course we will use the symbol shown here to represent ground. Unlike other symbols that are used on schematic diagrams to represent devices such as batteries, loads, or switches, this symbol does not represent any physical device. It only represents a convenient reference point in the circuit. There are other symbols that can be used to represent circuit reference points, but for now we will use the symbol shown here. As previously stated, it will be used to indicate a common electrical point in a circuit. All wires to which this symbol is attached on a schematic diagram are physically connected to each other. The conductors that make the connections will probably not be drawn on the schematic, which eliminates unnecessary clutter on the diagram. Although the choice of a common reference point in an isolated circuit is completely arbitrary, it is often best to choose a point where several components have one terminal connected together or in common. Once chosen, this reference point can be used in calculating or measuring voltages in a circuit. As an example, in the circuit shown here, we know that electrons will flow from the negative terminal of the battery through the load, through the closed switch, and back to the battery's positive terminal. Suppose we want to designate a common reference point or ground for the circuit. We might arbitrarily choose the wire that connects the negative terminal of the battery to the bottom terminal of the load and add the ground symbol to this point. The symbol could be added to any point along this wire and the meaning is the same. The entire wire is the reference point. Notice that the electrons don't seem to be affected by the addition of the ground symbol to the circuit. Remember, we have not added a physical device to the circuit, only a reference point for analysis. Since our choice of reference point was arbitrary, we could have just as well chosen this point as our reference. Or even this point. The electrons continue to move from negative polarity to positive polarity through the closed circuit and are unaffected by our choice of reference point. A designated reference point can be used to simplify a schematic diagram by not drawing all the wires that connect components to the common reference point. The two diagrams shown here represent the same circuit. Remember that in the diagram on the right, there is an unseen conductor completing the circuit between the two ground symbols. Current flows the exact same way regardless of which way the circuit is drawn. Finally, although the choice of reference point is arbitrary in an isolated circuit, when two or more circuits are interconnected, each with its own energy source, care must be taken to avoid energy sources of different values or polarities attempting to establish different voltages between the same two points in the interconnected circuit. This would cause an unsafe condition and damage to one or more of the components in the circuit. 